Good morning, church. Um, it's a beautiful day. I'm going to uh, ask that you join me in the prayer of God's people. Let us join our hearts in prayer. I'm going to use um, the structure of the Lord's Prayer um, to, to pray this morning and try to leave some pauses for you to add your own thoughts and um, or also just to reflect. So um, please join me. Lord in heaven, holy is your name. We come to you this morning as your children, watching the world that you've created bloom around us. We thank you for the birds and the flowers. We thank you that the birds seem to have their own economy and that they're not thinking at all about the trouble that we have now. They're building nests and um, operating under a separate optimism and we pray that we can be inspired by that and take strength from um, what we're seeing happen around us in your creation. We come to you because you're the one wise God, the maker of heaven and earth. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Help us to take this time to set aside the current concerns that we have about who has power and who doesn't have power. Help us to remember that whatever happens in the scope of our lives, the kingdom is ultimately yours. Give us this day our daily bread. Lots of people around us were already facing difficult struggles with health or uh, work or relationships long before the pandemic arrived. Um, we pray that somehow this could be an opportunity for us to uh, think about that, to relate better to the dailiness of the, the pain and the fear of those around us. And that it could also be an opportunity for us to really practice asking daily for your help. This morning we pray in particular for Anna Penniman. We're so thankful for um, her progress and that she's coming off of the ventilator and um, we pray that you would give her strength as she continues to recover and begins um, what might be a long period of rehab ahead. Um, we thank you also for what Don and Dawn have been able to do to support her. Um, we pray that they would begin to feel some rest and less anxiety as Anna heals and um, we pray that you'd be with all of them and Lola and th we thank you for their good health during this time. We pray also for the Grondike family um, and, the, and we know that it's a really sad time that they're going through now um, while they mourn the death of Larry's stepfather and his uncle from uh, the virus. Please send your peace to Larry and Carolyn while they're separated from each other in their own house um, because of Larry's quarantine. We know that this is really difficult for them and, and sad um, and hard um, to do while they're, while they're mourning. Um, help them to find distractions and comforts and ways to feel uh, less alone and ways to support each other during this time. We thank you also for Esther Coster's release from the hospital and that she didn't need surgery and we pr pray that she continues to mend at home. And uh, for Sab Sabrina Whitney, we celebrate with her, um, celebrate her return home from the hospital for the first time since October and we pray that she can adjust to being in her house again, especially um, as it's kind of a different world now than the one that uh, she left to go to the hospital back in October. Please ease her transition and help her to stay well. And we pray again fervently for our brothers and sisters with cancer, for Penny and Ellie and Tom Wita and for Andrew. Please 
ease their anxieties and their pain. And most of all, please help them to hear some good news. We pray for good results from Andrew Prime's recent scans. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Thank you for the incredible grace that you've extended to us through Christ. Thank you for your mercy, which is new every morning. It's not always easy for us to accept that grace for ourselves, but please help us to do it and to then extend it to those around us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Please lead us on the right paths. Correct us when we go wrong. Help us from being so proud of ourselves that we can't see our own flaws. Forgive us for being actively mean to people that we don't think deserve our mercy. Forgive us for also simply forgetting about what we should do and for overlooking other people altogether. We look forward to Christ's return when everything will be set right. And in the meantime, please deliver us from bad politicians and their unwise decisions. Give strength and knowledge to our leaders and scientists and problem solvers so that good can prevail even now. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.